how does it feel to be back to a country where people love and value their cricket so much i when i was in nepal i love the people basically even the players there are a lot of talented cricketers in nepal uh, but now again same thing we need to have a lot of structural changes we don't have grounds we don't have a format where we have a pathway for cricket so hopefully in future if we can see a pathway where the youngsters can be developed in nepal i think nepal could be the next afghanistan like a test playing nation you have had the experience of working with nepal national cricket team and now when the results are coming our way many young youngsters like kusal burtel rohit kumar podel have credited you for their success so what was the exact idea or the aspect in which you have worked with them so i would say thank you to them for crediting me but i think it's the talent which they have which i have just promoted so they don't have to thank me similarly we have lot of youngsters who are actually uh, can be something which uh, they have never thought about so we need a pathway like i said earlier if we can get those cricketers to play some really competitive matches whether they go to england they can go to india we had last time proposed the ksc tournament which is a four day tournament where a lot of ranji teams play so if they could play against some really good competi- competitors it can really give them a boost so these youngsters can actually be a next uh, rashid khan whether is bowling they can be uh, some batters who have been like uh, shubman gill from india or a prithvi shaw there are a lot of prithvi shaws and shubman gill in nepal so hopefully we can find those guys and make them give them the way actually sir how important is days cricket right now in nepal days cricket i have been earlier proposed also like we need to play a couple of two day games three day games uh, i had asked them to introduce in the schools basically because if you see mumbai who is the structure of india cricket they have lot of school cricket which are days cricket where people have scored like prithvish in the school scored like 400 runs safra scored 500 runs similarly from sachin to everyone had those day initially day playing games where they could actually play for a longer format now there has been news that you are also going to be linked up with paras kharkas cricket academy how are you looking forward to it i'm very excited because uh, earlier when i saw paras his passion for the game and uh, his uh, uh, i would say his vision like where he should play where nepal should be in future i think it is where we both think in the same way to take nepal cricket we need to have a structural reform actually that's what the word i used with paras his phrase we had spoken few days back With Dave Watmore announcing his resignation from the post of head coach, are there any chances that we will see Umesh Patel back to Nepal? Ah, uh, no, because to be doing good for Nepal, you don't have to be just be the head coach. I can work on the background, and if the can wants me to work something, I'll be happy. But not as a head coach. We need to have somebody who can actually start promoting cricket from the lower base and give them a structure where we need to. have a different format throughout the whole year we can't just have a head coach who's good enough and then change the whole team so we need a structural reform you have a fair bit of idea regarding the talent pool pool of nepal cricket so is there any young player who has impressed you highly and might be the next star in the making uh, right now it's just rit gautam the way he has picked up things and uh, the way he is thinking his patterns of batting even his way of grasping things there could be few more youngsters sher malla who has been amazing in shorter format but rit gautam could be the next rohit sharma for uh, nepal cricket sir after paras khadga's retirement how do you see nepal cricket uh, growing i would say like everybody has to go so after paras khadga there would be so many youngsters who could be in the next paras khadga of nepal so we just need to give them that chance and options uh, hopefully you will find a lot of other guys who could be as similar or maybe better than paras khadga So you yeah, I think you have seen uh, performance of Nepal in Oman in this against PNG USA and Oman that we played how do you see Nepal's performance in uh, right now in Oman I would say we are doing good but we could have been done doing better so still not happy with the way our batters are batting like what we had earlier spoken that we need to outgrow ourselves we need to perform better than the opponents and if you see the batters from the opponent teams I still rate our batters have not grown uh, so that's what I'm really uh, upset about things hopefully I can see the changes in coming years so in this tournament also we have seen some uh, players uh, like Jatinder Singh and yesterday we saw some day Jaskaran Malhotra stepping up yesterday we saw Taylor stepping up their intent seem to be so different and playing some attacking cricket fearless cricket do you think that we have been lacking to play some fearless cricket in Nepal I think we have to blame the whole structure because if you the name which have taken all these guys are playing from the test playing nations so jatinder has played most of his cricket outside oman he is not developed this cricket in oman same thing with jaskaran he is not played his cricket so all this development years they have played against really competitors brilliant competitive cricket in india so they have that knowledge and the understanding of the game where they can actually accelerate 
So hopefully if we can get the same competition in Nepal, uh, we could find really good in most of the batters as well. So what do you recommend? Uh, how can we strong strengthen our uh, grassroots level cricket and strengthen our bench strength? The, I think can would be a big role to play there. We have to open up academies in some part of different Nepal where you see a lot of talent. So hopefully if they can develop those academies, that could be where you can actually uh, see that the Nepali cricketers can grow from the grassroots. Thank you, sir. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you.